Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Deb and this is DB Designs and Sewing Australia. And today I've got the unboxing of the latest bespoke box from the Data Society. So let's have a look what's in it. And something else I ordered as well. Wouldn't want to just get the box, would I? Okay, here's a beautiful sticker. It's a lovely floral sticker. Now this box theme was the Artist's Muse and I believe it is based a bit on Matisse. And Matisse had a lot of use of color. First of all, the other thing that I bought, I'll just quickly show you that first. And this has got a gorgeous sticker on it that says pretty things inside. And a beautiful Australian morning blend tea bag from Madam Flavor. And a beautiful biscuit from Lucan and May. And a thank you card from Kristen. This is actually the Hove, I'm, I'm assuming you say it, Hovia jacket, because when I listen to other people say it, it's, um, they've got an accent, so I'm not sure how I should be saying it. Hovia, Hovia jacket. I'm just going to turn off that light shining on my glasses. Now that does make it darker, but at least I'm not glaring too much at myself. Okay, because I've got a fabric in mind that I've got in my stash for this jacket. So that'll be great. Here's my beautiful parcel. Let's open it up. I'm going to wreck the sticker as usual. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. Here's a beautiful postcard, The Artist's Muse. I think that is a Matisse painting. I'll check it out. What else did we get? This gorgeous little label that said, says, good things take time. Isn't that the truth? Not that great for someone that's impatient like me. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, some Madam Flavor. Green Jasmine and Pear Tea. That'll be nice. And some Mini Cheese Bites that are cheddar and rosemary. Now, I had cheese bites, but it must have been one of the things that we put in the work hampers for our Christmas presents. And they are delicious. They're actually delicious with some wine. Oh, that smells beautiful. And this is soap, and it's from Huckster. Now that's where the hand cream came from last month too. Now I've turned the light on and found some sewing glasses. So hopefully, oh yes, now I can read it. Ink Heart Designs Art Series by Huckster. Because that is gorgeous. Look at that. I'm going to open it. Because I'll be using it for me, so it won't matter. It's a gorgeous soap inside. Really, really nice. I actually use that hand cream quite a bit. I think it's lemon myrtle and ginger. I think that's what it was. Okay, here's the thread. Some white Guterman thread. And some elastic. Ooh, 
with some nice braided elastic. So I'll tell you what the fabric is before I show it to you. It's 2.5 meters of visco. And the pattern is the I Am Patterns HESAT, H-E-S-A-T. You get a 20% off with the code that Kristen's given the box receivers. I can already see this is stunning fabric. Very me. Very, very me. And here it is. It looks like one of the Matisse paintings. So this was the artist's muse based on, sort of loosely based on Henri uh, Matisse. And he had a lot of use of vibrant colors and shapes. One of the people I studied when I was at school and he didn't really get into cubism, but he was teetering on the edge of it. He was good friends with Pablo Picasso, who's like the master of cubism. And um, yeah, he never, Matisse never really got into cubism, but he still did a lot of wild, wild things. One that comes to mind is the blue nudes. Always obsessed with people, uh, well, predominantly women in the nude. And um, blue nudes, the joy of life, where they're like lying around. I don't think it's near the beach. I think it's near a river and they're all nude. And or the lady in the hat. And this card may be a Matisse painting. Is it called Sipping Coffee or something like that? Something about coffee, I'm sure. Morning coffee. And so the blue nudes are actually a set of four paintings in diff several different reclined positions. I'll see if I can find some photos and put them on. Um, the one by the lake or the river is called The Joy of Life. And... There's a few other ones. I'll see if I can find some so you can see what I'm talking about. But this fabric is beautiful. Now, I don't know what that pattern is, but obviously it's something that has elastic in it. But any sort of a shirt would be gorgeous in this. It needs to be something that's going to show off all of that print because it's beautiful. Look at that. I have not seen this fabric before. It's got a lot of wild colours in it. Just beautiful, Kristen. I'm trying to think what I could make. Something with a decent long sleeve so I can wear it in winter. Can't be too puffy because you might need to wear a coat over it before you get wherever you're going. Take your coat off. But absolutely gorgeous. Let's go through what we got. We got this gorgeous postcard. And on the back it says, The Dahlia Society presents the Artist's Muse, April 2024. That's great. I'm glad you're putting the date on it. I keep all my cards. I actually have a mood board. It's got a lot of old stuff on it. Oh, it still says 2023 on it. So it's... It's only a year old, it's a year since I've changed anything. I guess keep on sticking more cards in it. But I was going to make like a whole wall of all my cards. And this gorgeous label that says, good things take time. Now with this label, I've got heat cut edges, which means that, that all of these edges are not going to fray. So you can attach it just through this top section here. And on the back, it's just got a gorgeous little flower. How pretty is that? That would be a really, really lovely tag to put on something, even in this fabric. Sometimes I have to think twice about what labels I'm putting on things. If I've got a really light coloured blouse or shirt or dress, I don't want to put a dark coloured label on, which you might be able to see it through from the outside if it's in visco. So 
but that is a light, pretty coloured one, so that would be fine. Some Madame Flavour Green Jasmine and Pear Tea. I might have that soon, really soon. The Mini Cheese Bites, which I can recommend and are delicious. I think I've had Cheddar ones and the other ones called Sea Salt and something. What are these called? Cheddar and Rosemary. Yeah, the other ones I had were just cheddar and some called sea salt and something else. But really nice. Nice with cheese and nice just to have with wine. Some beautiful soap. Oh, it has got um, what it is on it. I was going to say the flavour, but the scent on it. Written here in big writing, it says lemongrass. So, and so it's beautiful. And that actually matches in quite well with the hand cream we got last month. So that hand cream is beautiful. I know if I put it on in the morning, I can still smell it when I get in the car. Some braided elastic, which means that top, which I will look up what it is. I'm popping a photo so I can see what it is, so that you can see what it is and some thread to match this stunning fabric. It is really non-directional. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. And a nice feeling visco too, really nice feeling. I think a lot of the new visco that's out is slightly heavier than what we originally had a few years ago. Even when I've looked at um, places like Spotlight, very different textures in them, depending which one you get. So that is beautiful. Really me, suits me right down to the ground. Anyway, that's all for me rambling on because I have to get on with my um, sew along for my ginger jeans. So thank you very much, Kristen, Phoebe, Dawn, and Sam as well now. Sam's helping Kristen out as well. Beautiful, beautiful box. Love the fabric. It's just stunning. I'll see if I can find some Matisse photos to pop up. It's going to look stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, what I'm wearing? I'm wearing lots of clothes because it's so cold. My Vera top in a, it's not 100% wool. And it starts to go a little bit pilly in spots. This fabric I got from Darn Cheap Fabrics in Glen Huntley last year, last year, I think it was last year, when I first started to make the Vera tops. But as you can see, it's a Vera top. Look at those sleeves. So one of my favourites, and I'm just wearing ready-to-wear leggings so that I can start my sewing. I will talk to you all later. Thank you very much for the gorgeous bespoke box. The Artist Muse, absolutely stunning. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.